As we all know, there is a world war like situation due to conflict between Ukraine and Russia. US is planning to impose sanctions on Russia in order to stop Russia to invade Ukraine. Well, if these sanctions actually imposed and the price of certain items like fuel are going to rise, then who is going to suffer more? Is it the people of US or Europe who is going to pay the price of sanctions? Let's check out. Russia ranks as the European Union's fifth biggest trade partner, as well as its top energy supplier. While for the US, it barely makes the top 30. There is a similar gap for investment. With Russia drawing in money from Europe's household names including IKEA, Royal Dutch Shell PLC and Volkswagen AG. With inflation surging and consumers excused by a surge in energy price, European Union officials are moving carefully on the prospect of sanctions. Let's see the import and export data. You can see that European Union is doing far higher business with the Russia than US. New sanctions would fall harder in Europe, which unlike the US does plenty of business with Russia. Europe's reluctance is a sense that for penalties imposed on Russia in the past, especially after 2014 invasion of Crimea, it was the European Union economies and not the US that paid the price. Energy is the biggest friction point. The US is a net energy exporter, but the European Union relies on import, and Russia is its number one supplier of both oil and natural gas. JP Morgan Chase and company economist warned a surge in the price of oil, $150 per barrel, would hammer growth and spur inflation. Gas is a particularly sensitive matter now, with Russia holding back supplies for past few months. Price have tripled, boosting the cost of electricity across the continent. It's the main reason Europe is suffering a bigger energy shock than the US. Escalation with Russia over Ukraine could make it worse. European Union officials are caught in a bind. Since domestic gas production is in decline, while Russia has built facilities to supply more, Russia's gas exporter Gazprom PJSC and partners including Shell have spent 9.5 billion euros, approximately 10.8 billion dollars, completing the Nord Stream 2 pipeline and want to open it. Military action in Ukraine would put that on the chopping board and any future deals to boost Russian supply to the region. That would increase the energy shortage in the European Union. The Nord Stream 2 pipeline will allow Russia to end its dependence on transit countries for gas export to Europe. Were sanctions to be placed on Russia's energy export or were Russia to use gas export as a tool for leverage, European natural gas prices would probably soar. Sanctions against Russia would also benefit US exporters who are seeking to ship more liquidified natural gas into Europe. This may also affect the light prices in Europe as well. As we can see, light prices on the rise significantly higher than the US. Europe's businesses have more at stake because they have invested more in Russia than the US counterparts. And the gap has widened in recent years. Russia is also one of the biggest exporters of aluminium, nickel, steel and fertilizers. IKEA, Volkswagen and the brewer Carlsberg operates in Russia. Italy's Unicard SPA has been eyeing an acquisition there that would make it the biggest foreign bank in the country, overtaking Societe Journal and Austria's Raiffeisen. You can check the investment made by the countries in the Russia. So is there any collateral damage? Mm, I think no. US do not have any major economic ties with Russia. It's Europe who has to pay the price. We can see the data of lost trade after 2014. It's US which is standing at $0 billion and many of the European countries have suffered a lot. So if Russia-Ukraine war is going to materialize, the people of Europe has to pay a high price. If you like the information, do like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.